Right, so I'm walking on the pathway here. Here's the middle of the road. Here's the other pathway. Cop running towards me, man. Running towards me. And I look at the corner of my eye, man. I freeze. I'm like, whoa. I, I see the cop like saying some stuff. I don't even know what. I still have my earphones in. You know what I mean? I hear 21 Savage talking about shooting people and stuff like that. I'm supposed to be listening to successful music. I hear 21 Savage talking about shooting people. While I have my earphones in when there's a cop looking at me. So instantly I feel guilty. I don't even know why, but I just feel guilty. I'm like, damn, bro, this couldn't possibly happen. I take my earphones out and this cop is like, did you just come from the golden pantry? I was like, what? What? The golden pantry? Now, the Golden Pantry is actually just like a gas station. It's just a gas station maybe around the corner. Do you know about the Golden Pantry? Did you just come from the Golden Pantry? I was like, what? What's, what? I don't know about the Golden Pantry. I just came from my apartment. I live down the road. Like I, I pointed at which apartment I live at. I live at this apartment right here, right? The cop says, are you sure you didn't come from the Golden Pantry? At this point, I'm stopped here like this. I said, why? I just came from my apartment, I live right there. And the cop said, are you sure you didn't come from the Golden Pantry? I need you to come with me to my car. And I was like, what the hell did I just do? I was like, man, I'm straight, I'm straight, straight. I'm like, I know I didn't do anything, you know what I mean? As we're going to the car, the cop has their walkie talkie. And I'm like, man, I'm not even about to, I'm not about to disobey anyone or anything or any any being or anything in this world at all. I'm about to follow orders. <laughs> I'm not trying to die today, not today, please. I go with that cop to the car and I'm thinking like, I'm not about to be arrested, like this isn't about to happen. You know, I'm straight, nothing's gonna happen. We get there, this person on the walkie talk like, look, somebody just robbed the gas station and a bit of their description it's yours, so I'm just gonna double check. In my head, I was like, all right, I mean, it wasn't me, but, okay, you know what I mean, nothing's gonna happen. But I don't know, something in my head just didn't click, like, bro, you don't understand, you could, you could, you could be in some bad, you could be in a bad situation right now. I'm like, nah, I'm straight. That cop talked to me, we talking like, what was the description of it, of this person who wrote this law? The cop that responded back said exactly these words, this exact description. Dark skinned male, dreadlocks, black shirt, gray sweatpants, black shoes, and a gray hoodie. I had my dreadlocks, it was all black. I had a black shirt on. I had gray sweatpants, gray, and black shoes. Everything, everything was ticked. Every single box was ticked on that list, except for one more thing. I had my backpack. This this cop was still on the walkie-talkie. And this cop was like, can I check your bag, please, sir? I already know how this goes. I already know how this goes. I've seen it too many times, all right? I'm not, I, I've, I've seen it way too many times. I'm not gonna open my bag. I gave my bag to the police officer. The police officer took my bag. I'm not even lying to you. The police officer took my bag, opened it up, and saw the gray hoodie. I swear, the look on this police, the look on this cop's face, I, I cannot lie to you. The look on this, the, this cop literally said in the walkie-talkie, We got him. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was done. I was like, oh. I was like, Lord God, if today is my day, if I'm going to if I'm going to jail jail right now, send my mom a mansion. Somehow, send my mom a million dollars. The officers get in the back of the car. I was like, how is this possible? The police officer grabbed, got me, put me in the back of the car. I was like, no. Give me your ID. I'm going back to the gas station. And I'm gonna double check with them if that's you or not you. If they confirm it's you, you're gonna I'm gonna have to arrest you. And I was like, Lord of God, please, oh please, Lord of God, Lord of God, Jesus Christ, the universe, everything that is up above, if 
there's ever a time for you to come in clutch. Today is that day. This right here is it, Chief. Today is that day. Really, I'm gonna drop. I'm really gonna drop first day out. I'm gonna have to drop a mixtape. I'm gonna have to sign to a record. I'm gonna have to become a rapper rapper. How, am I, how would I drop my mixtape? You know what I mean? What would my rapper name be? What would be the name of my first album? Who, you know what I mean? What would be my Instagram name? That, that's what I was thinking in the car. We pull up to that, we pull up to that gas station. Just, just as I, just as I finally got to my name, just as I finally got to my name. I was thinking in my head, my rap name's gonna be Lil Temmy. <laughs> Police officer really said to me, look, I'm gonna go to that gas station and I'm gonna see if it's you. Either I come to the front seat and we're going to the station or I'm coming to the back seat and I'll let you out. It was like a movie, bro, I swear. It was literally like a movie. The police officer walked out. It was in slow motion, bro. Everything was in slow motion. My heart was beating, bro. My heart was like, I could be hand, I could literally be going to the police station right now and it'll be game over. Robber. The doors open. I'm like, that's not the officer. It was the officer. The officer came. It was like in slow motion. My heart was beating. Either this up, either, either this cop comes to the front door or comes to the back door. This officer came, literally came to the front door in the car seat i was like lord why is this happening today there's no way this is happening it's like no way i'm getting arrested for fun is this really happening officer opened the door closed it and i was like it's wraps but little did i know the officer opened the little window peeked in the back looked at me and my heart was beating man i don't know this day i was sweating more than i've ever sweated my entire life like is this really happening the officer looked at me and said today's your lucky day it wasn't you sorry for the misunderstanding let me give you a ride Woo! I'm telling you my heart. I, I dropped that album, I dropped that mixtape. Lil Temmy does not exist. Hey, thank you, Lord God. You have come in clutch. You have saved me. This is, this, I believe, I believe I can fly. Okay, I swear, at that point, it's like, I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I got a rap from that police officer. We, the, the police officer joked it off. Man, I was, I swear, it was one of those days. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy feeling. I swear, I'm never, ever, ever, ever wearing black shirt, black shoes, and gray sweatpants again with a black, with a gray jumper. Never again. But I said a prayer to the universe. I said a prayer to God. I said a prayer to, I don't even know, anything. If you enjoy these little story times, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, if you like this story story time, drop a like. And if you have anything similar to this, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if anything like this has happened to you because I'm telling you, nothing like that has happened to me before. And I was like, Jesus Christ, what an experience. But anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. And I will see you oh, in the next one. Made another one. Peace out. one. Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just signed a deal, I'm on. Yeah, yeah.